evening that we get into the potential of a few strong to severe storms here across the area. In fact, I think it's going to be a line of storms making their way into the area. Here's what's going on right now as you walk out the door. 445 this morning, just a few spotty showers out here on Storm Team 6 radar. Uh, they're pretty spotty in nature, and these are just kind of moving back in now over the course of the last hour. And they're not containing any lightning, so that's good news. But look for brief heavy downpours here uh, from Crawfordsville down towards the Green Castle area, over towards Brownsburg. A shower just sneaking in here north of downtown Indianapolis as well. And these are all streaming off towards the north and east. So this morning, as you walk out the door, have the rain gear handy. You won't need it at all times throughout the day today, uh, but certainly we will be dealing with these showers and storms this morning, a bit of a break, and then in the afternoon hours again, because as you look down to our south, there is a lot of rain still yet to come and off to our west as well. This big batch of really, really heavy rain will kind of slide off towards the east, but what's here in St. Louis is going to rotate right through the state of Indiana, back off to our west. This is the line of showers and storms that will eventually move through here, and the timing is not good as it's going to come through during the peak heating of the day. So while it does not look all that impressive right now off to our west, once it gets here, it will be a lot more impressive as it makes its way west to east across the state. So this morning, 8.30, showers and a few thunderstorms will be possible. Locally heavy rainfall, again, no threat of any severe weather throughout the morning hours today. Once we get into the afternoon hours, lots of clouds around. The clouds will start to thin, and that will be key to determining how strong the storms will be later on this evening. I think we all see the storms, but the question is, will they be severe in your neighborhood? Well, let's walk you through the afternoon here, hour by hour. You notice how the clouds are breaking apart a little bit. The more sunshine we see today, that's more fuel for these storms. So as the actual cold front comes through, anywhere between about 4 and 6 o'clock on the western side of the state, and then eventually through the metro area by 6 or 7, and then onto the eastern side of the state, the amount of sunshine we see this afternoon will determine how strong that line of storms will be. The main threat as these storms come through will be wind and hail. Can't rule out the chance of an isolated tornado uh, with this line of storms, but I certainly think hail is probably our biggest threat at this point, and damaging wind will be the secondary threat. And Kevin and Ashley will be with you here later on this evening to make, uh, watch these storms as they make their way across the state. So right now we're at 58 degrees. The wind is out of the south. Temperature is not an issue. We're starting off in the 50s right now. We'll easily climb up into the mid-60s by the noon hour with a bit of a break in the precipitation. And then we'll top off right around 70 degrees as those storms come in anywhere between about 4 and 6 o'clock here across the evening. And once the front goes through, that's when we'll see the temperatures really start to cool off as we go into Saturday and also on Sunday. So here's a look at your seven day planning forecast. Again, severe storms this afternoon. We'll have to deal with morning showers tomorrow, then clearing. And then we have a pretty dry stretch of weather with the exception of maybe a few isolated showers in this forecast as we get to Monday. 